So that's the return from the hot water cylinder. You see it tees in there. So that is the return back to the boiler. And that's the return from the heating system. And that's the return from this radiator here. So we still need this and this. We don't need from this, we don't need that bit basically. What's up guys? Happy Sunday. Thanks for tuning in to my latest video, The Life of a Job in Plumber, sponsored by Power Toolmate and Velocity Pro Gear Tool Bags. So, I had COVID um, last week and a bit of the week before, so I had to have um, about five, six days total self-isolating. Um, so this week's video is two jobs that I did before Christmas. Um, one's a system conversion and one's just a combi swap bit of pipe work in there, uh, magna cleanse, stuff like that. So I was working with Ben and what we did was, because one of the properties had no gas, one of them had no water on, we went before Christmas, fitted the boiler, did all the pipe work, flue, etc. Left it over Christmas and then went back in January just to fill up and do the flush. So there's two parts to it basically for both jobs. Talk you through the system conversion uh, and some other stuff like that. Um, now it might, the way I filmed it, it might not make complete sense to you because I did a live video to start these jobs off and the quality was so bad, like the reception was so bad, I just deleted it. So I'm hoping you get the general idea from what I filmed, but it would be nice if the live video was there for you to sort of see the start of the job. But anyway, here it is. And then at the end of the video, I'll just chat with you a bit about stuff I've got coming up at the minute because it's quite a busy month February and March um, there's a couple of opportunities with Lawton Tubes um, we're going to be going to a college well I'll tell you at the end Ben? Ben? Yeah. Gas is cut off up here if you want to hook it out oh, The gas is cut off up here if you want to hook it out no, The radio's on He said he's cut the gas if you want to hook it out Definitely suppose that bloke. So all we're doing now is we're labeling up uh, what pipe does what, draining it down. Uh, obviously the gas is turned off, so we'll cut that one first. Once the heating and the water's drained down, we'll cut them out. Um, Cause basically we're gonna be going down through there into the uh, new boiler location. Okay. And it's the last job before Christmas. It certainly is. It's gonna be the best job before Christmas as well. It's like a little gnome, a little Christmas gnome. Better than being a buffer up. So Marcus is in there doing that. I'm decommissioning the cylinder, draining the water content out of that so we can get it down the stairs. We'll talk through with you um, converting this to a combi because obviously this is a wire plan at the minute. You can see the valve there. Um, I'll explain what all these pipes are as well once we've got that out of the way. And um, Ben's downstairs taking the void off the wall. Um, that's where we're coming down. New board is going to be going just here. So this copper pipe here, you would think that was the gas, but no, the gas came down there in 15 mil. That was the condense. So they took the condense. What's the inside of it? You think that had been rotted completely through? Can't currently get through this gate, but that's the um, the copper condense there. It's running down onto the floor. There's the old flue that's got to come out. We need to get access into it, really. The boiler was on the wall with plasterboard screws. Nice. So the cylinder's out, cut that pipe work, took the board out, the pipes went through the holes there. So you can see the pipes underneath. So that's the return from the hot water cylinder. You see it tees in there. So that is the return back to the boiler. And that's the return from the heating system. And that's the return from this radiator here. So we still need this 
and this we don't need from this out. we don't need that bit basically and then that's, so that's that bit we don't need that anymore so then that is just going to join on to connect onto that this one's the flow we don't need that anymore because that came from the old boiler to the airing cupboard so that we don't need that this one here is the gas and this one here is the flow to our heating system now that comes up here which we don't need anymore, but it also somewhere under here, probably just here, tees to come this way to do this wrap. So we need to do a little bit of work here. So just turn our board up so you can see there, that's tees up. That was our old flow to the radiators. We don't need that anymore. So like we've just done there, we need to cut this T out and keep this pipe connected. So that's that, get rid of that. So that's return is going to connect to that return and that's the flow is going to connect to this flow. That's the gas that's staying. Those two can come out hot and cold uh, and all these pipes and tanks in the roof can now come out as well. So this is the hot and cold. Now we need them to go down there. They go this way to the old airing cupboard and go up into the roof. Uh, one's the hot feed and the vent and one's the cold rising main to the tanks that are now redundant. So this pipe work can all go. And then from here, we'll just take them downstairs. So just took the hair felt off that hot. And it looks like there's a nail or something on it. And a massive dent there. That's seconds away from it. It's been soldered. They've nailed it and then they've soldered it though. How's that not leaked? Have they soldered it? Some of them are really hard. They've mixed it there, haven't they? And then... Yeah, well. <laughs> well, we're not cutting it there anymore. We're going to cut it back here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what, uh, what that is on the edge of the pipe. It does look like a rusty nail, doesn't it? If you look inside, you can see it's rusted all the way, almost all the way through. Hang on. Is that, that's a nail that's gone all the way through. What? It is, isn't it? How the hell? That's a it nail that's it. gone all the way through, in one and out top, the other. Top and bottom. Fucking hell. That's mad. As you look. Whew, okay. Connected now. Another go with this today because Ben's got on. Just got to bend some 15 more copper to get me into that corner. Right, I'm gonna bend that. So pipe locks in like that, and then this one comes in from the bottom to lock in. So that bit's easy enough. Um, and then just bend it. Has it got a guide for a 90? I think that's a 90 there, and then that pulls off. And there's your bend. He must be trying to get through here. There we go. He goes a little bit and just out of his pipe. That's what I'm thinking. So I was thinking come here and here. Because that's just decided where it's come through now. Yeah, we're going to just put another two, stick it round on a. What, what, what about bring them lower to Quite help you? There and there, and I can just kick them across. No. Well, it's better than crossing all over all that gas. Why well, can't it go behind the gas? There's a massive gap between the gas well, and the inters. Killing through, yeah. Anyway, we're just working that out. Boilers, Ben's done a terrific job. Look at all that. It's almost finished. Room. We just got to have a little bit of faith in me. Just got to dust that down, but that's that done. Pipe work in the corner. 
I mean, it's all going to get boxed in. It's not the best, but we're done. Um, not much else to show you. There's a bag of scrap. Um, yeah, done for Christmas now. Fire's out. Gas is capped off. We're done, aren't we? Yeah, man. What's that? Dream team. What should we do now? Go pub and have some lunch. Yeah, I think so. So we're done now. What happens when you work with other plumbers is after the job or during the job, they just stand around talking about the worst job they've ever done or the time that they did this job and this happened. Boring bastards. Um, yeah, so we're done. It's, what's that? Half two, gas fires out, gas pipes capped off. Um, obviously that's nothing to do with us. Again, the bathroom is for someone else to deal with. We took the condense out, but what will happen is when they do the bath, it will get connected in with the bath so nothing goes outside for freezing purposes. So by the way, Don Ben's done a nice job of that. Um, yeah, nothing else more to say really. Right, we're now at the other one. This one's not been ran yet. We just, um, what, do we, how, what stage did we get to before Christmas? We just got it filled up. We've not actually run it yet because there's no gas on and no power. So just put a fly lead on the boiler and then we're just going to uh, run it through the magnet cleanse. Same process as before, whip the filter off and then we're going to put it onto that. So you want this. That on there. Oh, fingers in the Okay, I'll stop it. These attachments were a lot better. Didn't have to do any of this. Just cam locks. Principles before we'll open up these two. One, two. Now the water's going through these. Fill the system up to pressure. Yeah. These backseas, they won't do anything when you first turn them on until you put them into purge mode, which is on the central heating side. So it should say zero, 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 I think. So you do two quick turns like that, it will say it on, and then it will purge, and that's just getting the air out of the heat exchanger. But literally the boiler won't do anything until you've done that. So I've got to leave that now for 10, 15 minutes while it sorts itself out. Then when it's finished, you'll get the two icons here, the heating and hot water icon, and then you can set your temperatures. Um, the truth. What do you reckon, worse or same as the last one? Worse. Yeah, a bit worse. Slightly worse. 
I reckon that's a bit dirty. Yeah, it's definitely worse than the other one. Here he is. Not the worst I've seen though. Oh, look who it is! It's the loft rat. Sorry, mate, we're not got any crawl spaces for you in this job. <laughs> but, wow. Black gold. Black gold. Yeah. Oh, so, so I just scraped. I just scraped off the magnet. So that's that's it. I think it looks more on the magnet than it actually is because there's hardly any there. Okay. Your hands and you're in your rag. Yeah. Right, so done. That's done. Marcus, prepare to be jealous. Oh, come on. Look at that beauty. So, hang on, let me change hands. Oh, Stand the blade, look. removable, pull the blade out. I'll I'll right, cutting my finger off. Yeah. Wire stripper. Ooh. And bit holder. It's a right, screwdriver nice. as well. Sexy screwdriver. Change the bit. Pull the bit out. Oh, it's even a flathead look like me. <laughs> and then that just in there, what do you reckon? Very nice, nice little tool, isn't it? Yeah, Ben's got one as well. Show me yours, Ben. Yeah, Ben's just show me his. So these, oh, you got your Leatherman. Yeah, can I slim it as to that? Power tool, mate, 20 quid, use PB5, get 5% off, but I reckon that's, what's the part number? It's called a um, Fastback, great bit of kit. Just don't cut your fingers off and don't blame me if you do. And, and they put they put a chemical in it, don't they? They put an, a UV yes. to find it. Yeah. I ended up, I ain't brought a cheap one off. Well, we're talking about discount codes. Ben's bought this IL625R, which has got UV. So if you want one, um, what's my code on you? Like PB25. PB25, you get 25% off. It's also good for finding someone's jizzed on themselves. Not no, today. Alright, so that's the boiler that's coming out. You've got the pipe work there that goes down the wall into the room below, so that's all got to be altered. We don't need hot and cold up here, we don't need gas up here, but we do need heating pipes up here to pick up the upstairs. Heating circuit. Flue's coming through this pitch roof here. Um, there's the seven train guy who's come to check this river in the cellar. The lads who was here this morning started a fire when they ripped out the kitchen and that. And they've left that burning. So, <laughs> you warm your hands up, mate. So, yeah, gonna, what I'm gonna do now is get that off and sort this pipe work out. That radiator is staying, believe it or not. In fact, all the radiators are staying. We're literally just doing the boiler. That's the only live socket in the whole house. So we've got the water's off. We've capped everything that was left open-ended by the, what don't we call them? The guys who ripped everything out. So we capped all that off, capped all that off. There's no toilet, so you've got to use that as the toilet. So basically, they're the pipes that feed the, the combi that's upstairs. This one, believe it or not, is the gas. So most of that's gonna come out um, and be tidied up because it needs to go through the wall and then up into our new combi. Uh, at the minute, we just drilled the hole out for the flue uh, inspection hatch, and then we're just working out where it's coming out through that pitch roof so we can get the vertical flue in and done. Get that done first, and then we'll just quickly bang the pipe right through. Another clip in. Otherwise, it will keep going moving. Right, so Ben is piping back from the boiler, coming this way. And um, we were going to bring the hot and cold through and connect onto these, but we've got these two stop ends, hot and cold, right below the boiler, so we're going to come off them. 
So we're gonna cap these two off. So we're gonna sweat the sockets off the end of those pipes so we can get onto them. Heat and flow and return are gonna come through here, pick up these two, and the gas is gonna come through and pick up this. And that's where we are at the minute. So, flow and return, come down. T into these two. So these two are the upstairs heating circuit, they've got to stay. And they also go down to the new boiler. So basically what I'm saying is this T is going and this T is going and they need to be reconnected. So this pipe's gone and this pipe's gone. The gas, which is this one here, has been cut downstairs already so that can come out. And the hot and cold, which are these two, have been cut downstairs already so they're gonna come out. That's what I'm gonna do now. So what I'm gonna do now is sweat these off. So sweat that T out, sweat that T out and then see what pipe I've got left and then I'll adapt onto that. Probably press, um, I don't know, I'll do something. them off they obviously need cleaning up but that one will get away with an elbow straight onto there this one i need an elbow and then a socket further down so there's my um press fitting elbow onto the existing two pipes now i'm on ben's job so he uses m profile fittings and this is his nova press m profile press gun but there's pipe work here there's no room to get the gun in so i can't physically press that elbow with this gun and that's where the REMS tool comes in handy because we have the angle jaw set which is this so I can wrap this around the fitting it says like that your head. Mind your head. Okay. Can you pass it back up? I'm not quite tall enough. Can you get your hand down? Yeah. Was Sorry. It yeah, it was, <laughs> I dropped it. Um, so this goes around like that and then I can get my gun in from the angle. But having said that, I've only got V profile, so I can't press these M profile fittings. So I've got to change it for one of these Konex B press. Okay, so now I've got my B press fitting on. Get this jaw on there like that. Then we need this angle jaw tong into the press tool. And then this grabs onto that. So bear with me. I'll just have to play around this a little bit. Okay, so that's the gun coming in from the angle. And 
and then I can press that. So it's that one pressed. And then the jaw just comes off. Obviously this one I can come straight from the top, so I need to put the normal jaw in, but we're gonna do that bottom one first because we're still gonna need to use this setup. Standard jaw back in because the rest of them we can press easily from the top. So that's basically the T's that went up to the boiler have gone. So they go down to the new boiler and this way to do the upstairs radiator circuit. Well, I've tried to film this on the live video, but I kept losing signal when I came into the cellar. So this is underneath the kitchen. We've got running water. It's just running through. They've got in either the house to the left or the right a leak or a burst. But we were here yesterday, Seven Trent came out and a housing association officer came out and they couldn't find it and fix it. So we're here back here day two and it's still running. Which obviously is not good for the house, but what can you do? Down here, I'll just show you. It's got two sort of rooms. Gas meters in this corner here. And then this blue MDPE is our mains. And that's the stop tap. Heating pipes there to the lads. I always thought if I had uh, lived in a house that had a cellar like this, I would clean it out and have like a workshop down here or something, because it's a lot of space. And it's got a lot of character as well. But this gets wasted. Because there's no power in the whole house. I'm just running off a fly lead so we can test it. Right, you'll notice we've got a mini expansion vessel on the cold. And you saw in the cellar we've not got a water meter. So I just want to show you this in the manual for Baxi. This is the manual for this boiler. I think I've shown you this before, but basically it says in the instance where the mains water supply incorporates a non-return backflow prevention device, i.e. a water meter, this may result in damage to the boiler and other appliances. To prevent damage to the boiler, it's strongly recommended that a suitable mini expansion vessel is fitted on the mains inlet between the boiler and the non-return device. But we've not got a water meter, so if you re carry on reading, even in circumstances where a non-return device is not fitted, any future modifications to the mains inlet, e.g. fitting a water meter, should be considered an expansion vessel fitted. So even though we've not got a water meter, we've fitted an expansion vessel in case they do come and fit one, then we're covered, is basically what they're saying. Back after Christmas, the wall's been painted, bathroom's being done at the minute. The tiles going on the wall. So just gonna bang the magna cleanse on now. So we've got all the kit there and we'll get that connected. So the last time I used this was that um, underground leak job. So these are the 28 mil adapters. So whip them off and then I've got these speed fit push on ones. So screw them on. One. Like that, and then this should, depending on whether you've got a micro or a standard one, this will move and then they just push on there. 
like that. And now my hose is going to go on. There and there. Okay, there we go. The magma clams, these push on. Start one. That's that one. And then we open these up if I can do this from hand. So now the system's running through the magnets, top the pressure back up, and we'll get it running and we'll go around each rad, run through that, and then I'll show you the magnets afterwards. Getting the air out so that they fill up. I know you've all seen this before, but it's not on. System's been empty for a while, hasn't it? Yeah. Just to give you an idea there, I've cleaned half of the magnet so you can see there's hardly anything on there. If you remember, this property when we started had been empty for a while, so probably what was left in the radiators. But there is only uh, one, two, three, five radiators in the property. So didn't expect this to be much. What's a nice colour? Right. You'd think it'd be clear, wouldn't you? Oh, do it in two locks. So this month I'm going to be doing my first college visit and the idea is I'm going to be going around with Lawton Tubes and we're going to be talking about the sustainability of copper pipe, why it's uh, the best material to use in plumbing. We'll be doing some pipe bending challenges where you can win some prizes. I'm going to take a press tool with me and some press fittings and we'll look at how press tools work and stuff like that. I'll do a Q&A if the students want to ask me any questions about my apprenticeship, running my own business, uh, my YouTube channel, my social media in general, anything like that. Um, we're going to be doing them up and down the country this year. The first one's going to be in Nottingham. I'm going to film that for YouTube so you'll get an idea of what we're going to be doing. But if you want me to come to your college, um, I'll bring some of my kit bags as well to show people. Um, drop me a DM on Instagram and we'll see if we can arrange to come to your college, um, get your course tutor or someone from your college to send me a message and I'll see if I can arrange it. But hopefully once I film the first one, you'll get an idea. Um, and also I'm going to be talking to Lawton this week about what we're going to do at Installer Show, which is in June, I think, at the NEC, because we're going to have another pipe bending challenge there. Um, I'll be on their stand again. Uh, what else have we got coming up this month? March, we're doing a charity install in Oxford. Uh, Kev from Whitney Gas has arranged that, so I'm going to be down helping with that. Um, I'm doing podcasts, going, doing all kinds of stuff, as well as, obviously, the plumbing, the YouTube. Um, so, yes, yeah, busy, busy few months, and it's my birthday in the middle of March. I'm going to be 40, so I've got all my fitness goals that I'm aiming for, for to... Be the fittest i've ever been on my 40th birthday so life's just crazy at the minute but it's good i'm feeling good now i've got over covid that was a bit um well the break probably did me good because i was probably over training but um yeah luckily it wasn't too bad i was just uh felt like i had the flu a little bit achy on the first day i had a fever one night and then it was just like my head felt like i had a head cold 
so touch wood not too bad over that now so yeah thanks for your support thanks for watching and i'll see speak to you next week and maybe see you at a show or at a charity job or at a college soon cheers guys